YouTube, what is up? It's AD with US Squads. I hope you're having a kick-ass day. Well, I got this supplemental uh, accessory for my Magneto Speed V3 Chronograph. So I want to show you guys what this was all about and give you a basic video on how to set it up. Now, all this is is literally these two pieces. This is the Magneto Speed XFR adapter. And basically is this little plastic thingy here with a little jack thing on the left hand side and a short 3.5 millimeter jack cable. That's it. You might want to ask, well what the hell does it do? Basically, simply put, it takes the information off your V3 or Sporter computer and transfers the basic data to your iPhone or Android device. That's all it does. So um, right now it's more like a bridge bridge component to take some of the basic information onto that put it on your iPhone or Android device so uh, the cost of this piece this component here um, is $24.99 um, it is not included in your kit here at all if you get the V3 or the Sporter um, it's a supplemental um, accessory I believe they do have a package that does include it but um, I was any, I did not get it. I got the basic V3 model and it did not come with this accessory. This accessory is fairly new as of uh, last month. I believe it shipped April 15th or April 20th of 2015. So this video is only a month old. So very, very new. I believe I received it a few days after that. But I was excited to get it because I definitely wanted to try it out and give you guys a video review on uh, what I thought about it. So uh, what will you need to get things started? You'll obviously need your XFR adapter. So in the bag simply comes with these two components here. And then you'll need to go to the App Store or Google Play, download the app to your iPhone or Apple device and or Android device. And of course you'll need your V3 computer or Sporter computer depending on what model you have. Magneto Speed only makes two models, really core models. The Sporter model has a black box that's a little smaller than this. Um, and then you have the V3 which has this larger black box, which I call the computer. Okay, so um, let's get started and let's show you guys how we set this up. All right, the components we'll need for this, simply the XFR adapter and the dongle. We will need your computer, your V3 or Sporter computer. We're also gonna to need to make sure the firmware is updated on your V3 computer. I'll talk about that in just a second. You'll need to go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the application and install it onto your device, okay? So let's talk about upgrading the firmware. Now the firmware for your Sporter model um, is irrelevant. I believe all Sporter models were shipped actually at the same time this was developed. So all that firmware should be updated, but check their website to be, in, to be sure. If you have a V3 model, you'll want to update the firmware to 2.1.03. That is the correct firmware you'll need. And to check the firmware on that, you simply want to grab your V3 computer you're going to turn it on by inputting the 3.5 millimeter jack into your device. Now on the bottom right hand side, it's only going to flash for about two seconds. It's going to show you the firmware version that you have. Okay, ready? Bottom right hand side of the screen. Boom. Firmware 2.1.03. Now if that's any number below that, you're going to need to update the firmware. I made a video to help you guys out with that. Um, it's actually the video previous to this one, so you can check that out and get instructions on how to set that up. All right, now we have everything set up. The firmware is upgraded. Your V3 computer is up to date. Your app is installed. You're ready to go. This is how easy it is to set up, guys. You're going to take your dongle, your little device, put it into the bottom of, or well, whatever you have. Put it into your headphone jack. Okay, you're going to take the supplied cable, the one at the right angle goes into the XFR adapter according to the instructions. Okay, and then the straight side goes right into the top of your um, computer, your V3 or Sporter computer. Now what will happen if everything is done right, it will actually put you into XFR mode on your V3 computer and or Sporter model. 
So see, it detected that, and it puts us in XFR mode. Now, basically, X, XFR mode means it's ready to sync the basic information to your device. And simply turn on your device. Don't mind all the fingerprints on my crap. You're going to find the app. And the, right here, for me, is what this icon looks like on the iPhone. Load it up. And basically, currently right now, on the very top of the screen, it shows no device, a little X, and then shows the adapter. What I do is I press the button sync, and normal sync, and there we go. It'll take a second, and as you notice, that X disappeared, and now it shows connected. So V3, XFR, I sync it again, and it will give all this information, it'll update all this information for us shows us three shots and that's correct I took three shots with my CZ 455 shows the velocity 1100 feet per second 1024 and 993 shows sensitivity set at four feet per second shots standard deviation average speed etc now on the very bottom here you can do a few things you can copy this this is the copy button and this is the toolbox. So right here, you can press this little envelope here, and that'll set, send your basic data to your email, or from your email to somewhere else. This will actually unconnect your device, and then you can set up uh, your toolbox and you know your device settings. You actually can change your uh, sensitivity settings on the fly on this box and change it to meters per second, etc. So I foresee that they're going to enhance this stuff so the functionality is very basic at this point guys so I foresee them to make this a little spiffier and cooler so just hang tight uh, right now it's just gonna just transfer your information to your um, phone or device so you can just see it on this now let's what happens to it when I disconnect this well I still have this information without it being connected so I can look through that information and still um, take notes or do whatever. And then I can put this back and have somebody else shoot another string or use it the way they want to use it. So I, again, I do foresee some more functionality uh, as upgrades come along, as more people get involved. Um, Magneto Speed seems to be pretty, they've been, they're really intuitive, kind of, they've designed their stuff to be really intuitive. Um, I've been really impressed on how easy it is to upgrade the firmware, how easy it is to navigate the menus. It's really, they've taken it, you know, so many of these device companies create this crap and it just, they make it really complicated. Whereas I think the Magneto Speed um, has taken things and made it really simple. And so, that's it guys uh, that's how it's set up um, hopefully that helps out that is the basic tutorial on the XFR adapter and uh, this, as you saw the functionality is fairly basic at this point but I still think uh, for 25 bucks I still think there's a use for this tool and um, I think it's a good supplemental uh, accessory for your sporter or your V3 model any questions or comments, hit me below on the comment box. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and hopefully this information was informative for you. You guys have a great day, kick ass, and have fun shooting. Thank you.